Hey everybody, it's Party Elite, welcoming you back to another episode of our Planet Zoo Franchise Mode Let's Play, where we're diving right back into Elite Zoo North. But first, just want to mention, we have a very fun number here again, 9191 Conservation Credits. That just tells me that we need to get some more fancy animals in so that we can spend some of those Conservation Credits. But, back to Elite Zoo North we go. Go ahead and resume. The, the game actually crashed last session when I was trying to take a, 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 a screenshot for the thumbnail, hence the awkward starting camera angle we're going to have today but that's all besides the point folks i just want to say as always if you've been enjoying this series and you would like to see it continue please don't hesitate to let me know leave a like and a comment down below it makes such a big difference uh, i look at the number of likes and comments to get a quick read on interest levels on various videos and topics and things like that and i enjoy reading through all of the comments um on, on, on which note, the, the overwhelming is the word I would use to describe the comments of the previous episode. Absolutely overwhelming. Uh, I've said it before and I'll say it again. Y'all are so kind and uh, just, uh, again, I enjoy reading through all the comments because there's always some good ideas, good thoughts, good suggestions, good opinions, uh, good comedy. I love it. So please do keep it coming. Um, and again, like I said, just helps me make judgment calls for the channel as to what I should do more or less of. Um, with that said, we have quite a bit to do today. Um, before I dive into some of it, I want to mention one more thing with regards to the comments. I'm actually going to leave a pinned comment down below, uh, and that will link you to a video I released just yesterday. Um, so Monday, depending on when you're watching this, I guess. Uh, and if you like when I go on little rambles and, and, and storytelling modes when I do my time lapses and you like those historical conversations, you might really enjoy that video. The only reason I'm mentioning it for, you know, on, on a Planet Zoo episode is because that video took, I, I kid you not, it took over like 90 hours to edit and research and put together. So I just wanted to make sure that if YouTube notifications didn't go out, people knew it existed so y'all could check it out. Um, I think you, I, I think it's an enjoyable video. Um, but uh, anyway, that's... That's way besides the point. Let's get to work over here, folks. What do we have to do today? Well, first of all, before we even hit play, the first thing I'm going to do is take a look at uh, the situation over here. As many of you pointed out, it seems that we have a gap in the fences that the animals are using to escape from. Why am I missing that? Or did I end up blocking it at the end of the session and those comments were from before the end of the session? Because I'm not seeing a marker over here. And I know at the end-ish of last session, I, I'd closed this off. It was mentioned that they could swim under over here. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, okay, I guess they could get underneath and out from over here, maybe. It's weird that the game doesn't mark that, though, but either way, let's go ahead and adjust that before we hit play, because, um, yeah, that would be a problem otherwise. That would be a problem. I don't need any more escapes. We already had uh, those mul multiple, several camel escapes last session that was very frustrating but uh uh hopefully this will stop the bears from getting out now why 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 are the why are these not working zero degrees so you should be cold enough let's set you to negative five i want to make sure that it's always snowy in uh in this area well, hold on now we've got a bunch of you we've got too many of you almost zero degrees i guess if it rains it would technically melt it away i can't believe it's that particular a simulation of um of temperatures and whatnot in this game because some spots are still snowy i'm not sure what's going on there anyways i, I could probably just go in and, and do this during the time lapse because uh, the time lapse today will still focus on the uh, polar bear region there's uh there's a fair bit to do over here a lot of changes were suggested and i wholeheartedly agree with most of them uh and there were some i plans that i had already that i want to execute as well i also want to try and execute this area over here i'm hoping to get to it today but i've started this recording session a little late unfortunately uh, actually as a result of that previous episode i was talking about earlier um so i might not be able to get all of that done and also still get this video up on time so i apologize if if not so uh let's power through over here so on the topic of powering through polar bears need some power back over here uh we're gonna try and get them is because these these lights aren't gonna light up without uh with another solar panel or something i'm wondering if we actually install a generator or a transformer i guess we could go out there and it would have access. I don't want to put it over here, not where people are going to be. Because um, again, this upsets people. But if I put it all the way out over there, we'd be able to get power over 
and uh, we'd have to build like a long path down over there. That's the one big struggle about doing these like big projects is maintaining them afterwards. I guess I could put it down over here. It's not too far away. All right, so let's go ahead and do that. Um, not too far away, I say. We would have to cut through this little bump over here, I guess. Go ahead and flatten the train. I also don't like that it's so muggy right now. Like, absolutely not pleasant to look at. Let's go ahead and flatten you down over here. There we go. Flattened area. And the rest of it we can flatten with the path itself. So it's just going to be a staff path. Don't need to um, do anything too crazy over here. For now, at least. I mean, eventually it might be a regular path. But for now, it just needs to be a staff path. Just got to get our staff back there. That's not. There we go. If that's not five length. Right? Let's carve our way through over here. It can be a bumpy road. That's not the end of the world. Want to get up to here and get the power down. That was actually... I was expecting it to be a lot more painful than that, if I'm completely honest. But yeah, this is this is a temporary solution. Uh, eventually, we'll, we'll do a more permanent solution. But let's go ahead and pop you down over there. And uh, I think what I'll also want to do, actually, is I might want to put down some staff facilities over here because our staff are having a hard time uh, getting to um, their facilities. I wish you could see staff facilities using that. Um, I mean, I guess I could see it using negative impact. Like, we've got it here. We have some staff facilities there. But yeah, we have nothing over here. And obviously nothing over here. This is just extended. So maybe we put down some facilities over there. Probably not a bad idea. In fact, I hope, I wonder if we can't just... Uh, from over here, maybe. We've got... Um, I want the keeper hut, and I also want a staff room. But this is probably the better option to, to take from. It's a bigger staff room, right? Staff room large, and then this is a keeper hut. Don't need a big keeper hut. And this is... What is this? This is a research center. Um, sure, let's just duplicate the whole unit over here. Uh, of course it won't let me. Alright, game, don't crash. <laughs> don't crash. Okay, there we go. Uh, I don't know. Small staff area blueprint. <laughs> Title. <laughs> it's, uh... It bothers me because it asks for this stuff, so I want to put the right info in. But I also completely don't need it. Um, personally. Alright, there we go. So where are we? Small staff area. Wait, that's the other small staff area. Where's my new small staff area? I've called them both the same thing. That's... <laughs> Oops. Well, not the same thing, but, you know, similar things. Alright, let's go ahead and set you up over here. We can do something like this. Pop you down. Uh, what makes sense? Yeah, we could do something like this. Okay, sure. Let's go ahead and put you down over here. And then we get our path to hook up like so. Uh, I'd like it to be a sharp angle if possible. There we go. Nope. It's ugly. There we go. I like that. That looks nice. So this should now then be added to our work zone here. Our work zone... Where is it? Arctic. Go ahead and add all of you. Make sure that you're still selected as well, please and thank you. And let's add you as well. So this should make it a little bit easier uh, to help handle these animals. And we are going to get more animals over here as well. We're going to be adding uh, the doll sheep, the reindeers, and eventually the Arctic wolves as well. I'm a little bummed that it wasn't the Arctic fox, but that's fine. We'll make do. Now, why are you... I guess I have to unpause for the power to come through. But the power will come through. All right, cool. So that's that taken care of. We've taken care of the staff things as well. Uh, we've taken care of the escape route. And, you know, the other thing we need over here actually is uh, water treatment. And it's weird. During the time lapse, I remember thinking about it. And then for some reason, it slipped my mind. Now, that water is too far away. If we put the water treatment down over here. This water is being treated, but it's no longer connected. Right, that's the problem. It's no longer connected over here. Okay, well then, how about... How about we do this? How about we go ahead and drop this down uh, over here? Uh, where's my connection? Come on now. Come on now. You know you want to. Oh. <laughs> it's hovering, that's why. So let's go ahead and connect you over here. Alright, nothing too 
fancy. Again, this is potentially temporary placement. I mean, this might actually end up being a bit more of a permanent uh, hub now that I think about it, especially with the water filtration. But that'll help this water stay clean. However, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and clear out that water and kind of sculpt this out. So what we can do is connect our... Uh, gotta cancel you as well. Connect these two, and that way the water filtration will technically reach everything. And plus, I think it'll look nice as well. It puts our little uh, dome in a different sort of a situation. I think it's quite nice. Um, it, it makes it feel like it's, you know, at the edge of a... I don't want to say iceberg, but at the edge of something. Right. Uh, let's go ahead and pop you down over here. No, not good enough. Intensity at 100, please. There we go. That should do the trick. There we go. Perfect. Yeah, I think that's... Hmm. Definitely do nicer than that. What's the problem here? What's the problem here? It used to be higher. It used to be right up to the fence there. But what's happened since then? Oh, no, I guess I pulled the fence back, but it still used to be up to about here. I wish when you were putting the water down, it would show you the full line, and it would show you in red where the issues are. So you could tell exactly where you needed to go in and sculpt. Let's make life a little bit easier. This is all obstructed. Maybe... I don't want to raise all that. I shouldn't have to. I didn't have it up before. So I guess... Hmm. Okay, let's see. I'm going to try and do this as quickly and painlessly as possible, folks. That's where the water level should be. Can't do it over here because what? Because eventually... Oh, is it the animals? It might be the animals. Uh, let's see. Everything else looks okay. When we get to here. So let's go ahead and raise this up. Right, because then we have... Raise you up like that, there we go. Now we've got this. Reaching a better end there. I still don't think we'll have... I think it's the uh, animal needs to be moved away. So, alright, let's go ahead and ask you politely here. I also, this, hopefully this cutting the train over here will, uh, will prevent our polar bears and stuff from hiding from the views so much. Uh, can I move you or do I have to actually, well, let's unpause for a second here and see if that works. Yes, it does. Away you go. And nightfall is coming as well. Of course. Why would, why would the sun stay up? It's gotta be rainy and gloomy. Um, where was I? Sorry. Rain. There we go. Yep. All right. Glad we figured that problem out. Glad we figured that problem out. Easily. Right, so let's go ahead and smooth you out. There we go. There we go. And hopefully this won't take away too much of their land area. I know it reduces it a little bit, but I, I can't imagine it'll be a problem. Double check here. And pause, because this needs to update. There we go, you've been moved, you're good. And... I don't think it's updated yet. It either hasn't updated yet, or for some reason I've blocked their access to the water. There we go, it's updated. And everything is good. Everything is, I would go so far as to say, awesome. Fantastic. Alright, um... Now, with that out of the way, what else have we got? We've got uh, quite a few suggestions as well with regards to how to fix up some of these issues that we were having with the trains and whatnot. So just double checking my notes every so often. Uh, I, I do apologize if I seem a little off today in terms of like a little kind of all over the place. Um, this weekend featured a double all nighter, which is a not something I can do as well as I used to be able to do back in the day. <laughs> uh, so I apologize if I seem a little, you know, little all over the place. Now, it was mentioned that minimum and maximum wait time get in the way of a don't block station. Now, if I set the maximum wait time, though, we could, what we could do is, with the trains at least, let's say maximum wait time is 30 seconds, because we've got enough trains. Uh, what I'm hoping will happen, 
and again, this is based on some of your your uh, suggestions, and I and I agree with some of these suggestions. What I'm hoping will happen, I, I agree with the suge suggestions I'm implementing. I mean, obviously, um, is that people will arrive, they'll get on the train, they'll have thirty, they'll be queuing up. They have 30 seconds once the train arrives to get onto the train. 30 seconds is enough time for the queue to basically empty out and for the train to fill out, I'm pretty sure. And then they'll keep going. Um, so 30 seconds might actually be too long of a maximum wait time. But that way the train comes through, waits for 30 seconds or... Hmm. I guess you wait for a full load or a 30 second, whichever comes first and then you get going, but if a train comes up behind you, you're not supposed to block it, so you keep moving. I think that should work if I'm understanding the suggestions correctly. Uh, if it doesn't, it's an easy fix. We just get rid of the maximum wait time. Uh, but for now, full load, because the trains are pretty active, I would say. Um, so I, I think that should do the trick. I think that should do the trick. 77, we got a few more of you to go. Full load, turn that off, turn this down to 30. I hope that does the trick, because when we were going around on the ride, um, a few issues were spotted. This was one of them, and I, I guess that's a, that's a good reason why uh, doing a tour actually helps, is you spot issues. When you see things from different angles, I say this about my time lapses all the time, when you see things from different angles, you sometimes notice things that you hadn't noticed from, you know, the angle you were already looking at. And that's technically what the zoo tour did for us. One was this, the wait times have now been fixed, hopefully that'll help, uh, you know, get us more profit from the trains and things like that, but it'll also help, hopefully help people move around a little bit faster. It was mentioned that when people are stuck on trains, they get tired, and when they get tired, they get unhappy, so they might not donate as much, they might leave the zoo sooner. All excellent points. Now, apart from that, which will hopefully help, I also need to get rid of, where is our, there we go, we need to get rid of some of the trees in this area. Um, wait, not there. There, 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 wow. Losing track of my own tracks. There we go, these guys. A lot of you. A little too densely packed there. Pull you out so no one has to die here. Preferably. And let's at the same time make sure to cover this path. Mm. There's one. Got another one in here. And let's get another one over there. There we go. Clear path. Cool. Perfect. Um, finally, I say finally. That's that's a lie. Uh, there's a couple small edits. Actually, you know what? We can probably hit play looking at my notes here. Yeah, we can go ahead and hit play. At least start making some money and things like that and keep uh, some of this work going. So for one, these floating lily pads, which look like alien um, flora when they're floating like that. They need to be taken care of. Facilities without power. Are you kidding me? Where is this? Cosmic cow over here. Oh, it's because of the solar panel in the area. Or the generator in the area, rather. Transformer. Needing some repairs. Alright, we're fine. We're fine. It's not the end of the world. This is why unpausing is a is a problem. Uh, Alright, so the trees have been taken care of. The floating lily pads have been taken care of. Uh, I also need to take a look at my animals. Because apparently, by mistake, I have one of my pronghorn antelopes on contraceptives and that was not intentional it happened when i was chasing after i i'm assuming i was chasing after my peafowl um where are we pronghorn antelopes h i l n a p pronghorn antelopes was it emberlin or natasia or both i've got a few of these female antelopes on um on contraceptives i hate the menu close. Yeah, because uh, I'm, I'm going to keep it as it is because I don't want to mess around with potential inbreeding. Having one on contraceptives is not the end of the world considering we have so many uh, options. Incorrect sex ratio over here. So I got another great suggestion with regards to the uh, peafowl, and I think I'm finally going to do it. Uh, I was holding off on doing it for as long as possible, but I think it's time to do it. Animals, uh, we're going to look at just the peafowl. Is it the Indian peafowl? Yes, it is. And we are going to go with a bachelor male group. And that should stop being an issue. We have, why do we have so many? Why do we have so many? Well, some of these guys are too young. 
trade out. There we go. Keep you as well. All right, send to the trade center. We'll release to the wild. We don't need to trade. It's not going to work if you, you're not going to be able to make any serious money off of uh, trading out peafowl. Low welfare for our tortoises. Oh, the, wow, what is with this crowd? Um, I really need to... Okay, let's let's go ahead and solve this problem. I've been talking about it for a long time. Let's go ahead and solve this problem, finally. Uh, we are looking for... You don't like the tree. That's the that's not the problem though. I wonder if we get some of these bushes. The vines aren't gonna help. Maybe the scavola bush. Let's see. Like if I do something like this, the game says in some of its tooltips that uh, doing this can help, like screen the animals. I don't know if it'll work because it's not really tall. Grass is dropping, but the crowd is getting smaller too. I might need taller, uh, might need taller plants for this. Um, and sorry, animals will fight you to overcrowding. We've got all sorts of problems here, folks. This is why you can't unpause. What's overcrowding? Pronghorn antelope. Okay. Pronghorn antelope. Alpha status and overcrowding. We do have 20 of them, so that, that, yes, that, that is a bit of a problem. Okay, let's get our males. Emerson's still the dad. Benjamin, you're on your way out, buddy. We have, you know what? I should maybe get rid of some of the female. Yeah, there's just way too many of them. Way too many of them. Leave them to the wild. Where's our, Emerson is, yeah, he's still, he's still a breeding age, so go ahead and release y'all into the wild. Somewhat indiscriminate, I know, but I need to solve some of these problems. Indian peafowl, incorrect sex ratio. What happened here? I thought I... Yeah, of course. Of course you come of age right after I trade y'all out. Come on. At least you're the wild. Had to be. Like, couldn't couldn't have asked for better timing. Low welfare over here, I'm guessing, because y'all are getting a little crowded. Looks like it. Oh my god, you're getting very crowded. There we go. Now, hopefully, that'll solve these problems. Exhibit is not clean. It's definitely the latest update. Like, there are all my work zones are having these issues now. It's not just, you know, one work zone is having an issue or something like that. Um, they're all having the issue of uh, cleanliness and things like that. Uh, let me check my P file over here. Uh, I want to check your. Zoopedia, that's what it was. Like, why was I looking for you again? Zoopedia. So that I can see what their ratios can be. 4 to 20. Oh, male bachelor group size is only 4. Ah, I see. I have to get rid of quite a few of them. Hmm. Okay. Alright. Indian peafowl. Let's go ahead and reduce your count here. Well, let's see. I definitely want to keep the colorful ones, right? Kind of the point. That's what we're aiming for here. And let's go ahead and keep our younger ones. And eventually I might start breeding again, but for now, one, two, three get to stay. And we'll we'll, we'll maybe eventually come back to breeding them or, or, or something, but for now I just, I need these alerts to stop. <laughs> I just need these alerts to stop. Okay, these animals are still getting stressed out. I wonder if okay, let's let's try this. Really got to sort this out. Wonder if I raise this a little bit. I mean, I'm I'm shocked that the, the tortoises can even see people looking at them. But if the babies are getting stressed out while they're at this end, it must be part of the problem. Let's go ahead and raise you. Let's go right up to here. This still still fits nicely. Let's see if that does the trick. Well, you're right in the crowd. There's nothing I can do to help you. You're, 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 you, you chose to be among them. Or rather, the people might be blocking you. And move you over there. I just want to see something here. Get moved over. And what happens to your stress level? 
what happens to your stress level. The moment you're over here, stress drops. Okay, so I think the bushes have helped. That's why I did the move. I wanted to see if we could get an answer to that question. It looks like the bush has helped. What is... Oh, that's a tortoise. I was like, what is that? Go ahead and move you out of there. There we go. Um, and hopefully that has solved most, if not all, of our problems there. Yes, it has. Power source failing. That's a different problem. Factory and camel. Research completed. Amelia, let's get you working on the Indian elephant. Let's get some advanced research going on over there. Uh, a couple people say hello too. I'll do that afterwards. Okay, let's. I need to take a moment here. <laughs> the game just throws stuff at you when you hit play. It's just like, hey, take care of this. No, now take care of this. Uh, okay. That's all that taken care of. I want to very quickly go over some of the name suggestions that were given to me and implement some of the name suggestions because I got some great ones. Now, I think I interrupted my own train of thought earlier when I was saying uh, in, in reference to the comments I received last session. I just want to say it very quickly. I'm sorry if I'm repeating myself, but I, I think it's important to say that I really appreciate some of the comments y'all left uh, of the previous episode. Um, there were some very kind words. Uh, I'm so happy to see so many of you, uh, you know, like regular faces and names. 50 episodes in 51 episodes now and y'all had something really interesting to say about one thing or another it was interesting to see as well your thoughts on which uh, enclosures y'all like best i got a lot of votes for wolf rock which is funny to see because again that was from you could tell this is kind of like beginner level as far as my skill set was concerned uh, i think almost everything got at least a couple of votes the uh the uh, tortoises were unfortunately not really anyone's favorites and uh, evidently not mine either I guess because I completely forgot about them during my tour so oops uh, I also forgot about the pandas and yes the pandas are a little neglected lately uh, and 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 that's my bad I do need to make sure that I pay more attention up over here because they're not getting that many viewers and when the trains when people come through on the train here it seemed that at least during our tour people got off and then got right back on so we need to figure that out as well um, but yeah, there were votes for the elephants, there were votes for the Southeast Asia section, which honestly I'm very glad to see because that means the pain of, of working with this uh, was worth it. Um, but yeah, votes all around, opinions all around, and I just wanted to say thanks. I want to take a moment out to say thanks, and I feel like I didn't, you know, properly express my gratitude at the beginning of this episode. So again, I apologize if I'm repeating myself, but it's important to me uh, to, to just, you know, take a moment and, and, and say thank you. So I hope you all understand. Um, and at the end of that moment, I see this. So, you know, there's got to be a, a roller coaster of emotions always. Why? <laughs> Why, game? Why? What broke you? Who hurt you? And how do I fix this? All right, let's see if we, let's see if we can. Let's see if we can, right? Should be able to. No. Oh, are you serious right now? Are you... Oh, interesting. Okay, the game does not like... The path below it? No, that doesn't seem to be the case. Alright, let's uh, get rid of you. I need to make sure I'm, I've got enough undos in my back pocket. Yeah, we're able to put you down just fine. Okay, then what's the problem here? Malform path part. Don't give me that. What if I reduce the width a little bit? Doesn't need to be so wide. Sure. That works for me. And suppose we could... Well, let me just undo... That. And get you back. Drop you over here. And... Where's our Q? Go ahead and extend you over to here. With a 4. Yes. You setup would be invalid. No, it wouldn't. It would be fine. I could do this as well. That maybe looks a little bit cleaner. Or that looks nice. It makes this curve a little bit nicer. There we go. Okay. That would that that would if if we couldn't clean that up, that would absolutely Oh no. Oh no. Okay. This is a problem. When did this happen? Okay. So removing this, oh my god, are you kidding me, game? So removing this removes everything there. Okay, what about this? That doesn't help. This, that doesn't help. Wow, am I seriously just gonna have to live with this? You're kidding me.
you're kidding me. Okay, hold on. So you're removing that. Oh, removing that helped. Weird. Okay. Okay, removing both of these helps if I do it in the other order. So that it can connect to that. You know what? I might be fine with that. Let's see. Let's see. What could we do here? Wonder if I could add this now. Oh, there we go. Okay. Okay. Alright, okay, let's see. Undo that. Let's go ahead and... Can't be symmetrical, can it? Let's undo that. Let's go ahead and add you back here. Wow. All right. I'm, I'll, I'll, I'll figure this out later. I, I, this is not the intent of this episode. That's really frustrating. I'll figure that out eventually, though. Uh, all right. Moving on. I have a lot of name suggestions that I want to implement, as I was saying. So uh, let's go ahead and get some of those going. Uh, let's start in our uh, underground area over here. Uh, and also very happy to see the reactions to uh, to this. This was uh, I'm probably one of my favorite uh, structures in our entire zoo. Uh, this dome over here. So I'm, I'm glad to see all your reactions to it as well. Uh, so, the Cosmic Cow Ice Cream is going to be called, again, lots of great name suggestions across the board here, so I apologize if yours wasn't picked. I had a hard time picking, but, uh, there's, there's a lot of really good ideas. So, this over here is going to be called, um, and I'm probably butchering the pronunciation, uh, Akutak, and that is, um, a type of ice cream dish. It's based off of, um, the Alaskan natives who live in, you know, Alaska, but also in Northwest Canada, it's a dish um, from sort of that part of the world, and so I felt like it made sense, ties in nicely with the, the region we're working with. Uh, we've got the Street Fox Coffee, which we're going to call... Oh man, I wish I'd written these notes down in, you know, a bit more of a logical order, but uh, there we go. Polar Espresso. Bam! Amazing. <laughs> Just pure art. The Pizza Pen, this, I love this. So, uh, Deep Crisp even. I didn't get the joke at first and then I kept reading the comments and I was like, oh, that's that's genius. Think about it. I'm going to leave it out in the open for now. Snow, Christmas, deep, and crisp, and even. I just want to say, I sort of throw it out there because it took me a second. I was like, oh, and then I, and then I got it and I was like, that's excellent. Alright, so we've got all of you done, right? And then over here, our info center. Ooh, I don't know if I... Oh, yes, I do. Uh, pause nose best adorable and then over here we've got our hats fantastic lots of name suggestions for this actually uh we're going to go with going to go with polar iced caps i'm kind of blending a couple of suggestions here i got a lot of requests for a reference to tim hortons uh canadians will know and some americans will know as well timmy's is like a hallmark of canada uh, and, and they make ice caps, and, and the moment I read the word ice caps, the first time I was like, oh, like Timmy's? Uh, and then I got a lot of, like, mixed suggestions for, like, polar ice caps, iced caps, ice caps. And so I was like, alright, how about you do both? <laughs> Why not both, as some say? So, uh, polar ice caps. And over here, for the gulpy soda, we had, uh, where'd it go? Oh, yeah. Polar bear. As a reference to, you know, Coca-Cola, the polar bear is their kind of mascot animal. Uh, so I love that. And then Monsieur Frit over here. Uh, where'd it go? Northern Bites. Whoops. Northern Bites. Because like Northern Lights, Northern Bites. I think it's I think it's cool because you could be over here having your Northern Bites while watching the Northern Lights. God. Come on. Great suggestions. I love it. Uh, now there were some more suggestions that I, I kid you not are just driving me to put down some more options here because what's a better reason for doing something than uh, a pun made you do it? We're gonna put you down over here. Well, hold on, I'm not duplicating you. What I'm doing is I'm putting down a food stall, a chief beef, which I assume sells burgers. And we're gonna put you down over here. And your name, your name is Iceburger. <laughs> How am I supposed to resist? I believe that's all the name suggestions done. Indeed it is. So now I can go back to pressing play uh, because the next thing I want to do is, as I was mentioning, 
I wanted to get some kind of mist. Oh god. The moment I hit play, there's a notification. All right. Okay, stop it. Stop it, you. Oh, god, of course. This, nope, nope. That's our that's our breeding pair fighting right now. Where's the other one? Where, where, where are you? There you are. How is this overcrowding? It's a baby. Oh no, it's not a baby anymore. It just hasn't. The model hasn't changed yet. Okay, you are a female with worse stats. But you are old. I wish I could transfer you to a home, but I can't. I just have to wait for her to pass away. I mean, one thing I could do is I could release the father, I suppose. Yeah, let's do that. Let's go ahead and release the father into the wild. Let's go. And let's go ahead and get a replacement male Baird's Tapir. Um, sorry, Trade Center. Um, Baird's Tapir, please. I feel like the game is sending me a message of what I should do next. <laughs> um, no, no, no. Baird's, Baird's tape here. Where are we? In fact, I'm going to... I'm going to tell you what I have planned next. Uh, after... Like, close to the end of the session. I have some plans that I want to kind of go over. I also kind of want to get this... There we go. Oh my god. I wish it wasn't 10k. I'm never going to pay 10k for an animal. That's just... I won't. You can't make me. I won't do it. Are you kidding me? I have to get a male if I want to... Oh, there we go. I'd rather not have to get a male, but I have to get um, a cash listing. Sure, I guess. Not the best genetics, but what option do I really have? Let's go ahead and adopt you, buddy. And let's get you into... Um, quarantine first. There we go. Alright, good stuff. No alerts to worry about. Alright, cool, cool, cool. Okay, I'm feeling all over the place. My apologies if it's a bit of a, a hectic episode, folks. But uh, right over here, what I wanted to do was construction. I wanted to get mist, I guess, is the right effect to go for. Like, the idea is, like, you know when you see, like, steam and stuff coming out from... Uh, when something's really cold and the air around it isn't cold enough and it starts to mist up? Oh, yeah. That's, uh, that's hitting the spot, I think. Oh, we could, like, really mist up this area. Hmm. Wonder if... Well, if I put you out over here... There we go. Just want to see what this looks like. And we have to make some adjustments to, uh, to this area as well, but... Just want to see what this looks and feels like. Oh, that's looking really nice, I think. Just, you know, a subtle little bit of... Of something to, to liven the area up and to, to make the view a bit more interactive, uh, feel a bit more real, I guess. Uh, yeah, I like that. And let's also get the original plan was to get some, you know, around here. So again, it feels like the, um, like this is more kind of talking about the ice melting and whatnot. There we go. Yeah, I think that's, uh, I think that's gonna work pretty nicely. All right, cool. So that's that taken care of. It's all the names done. That's all the, uh, major notes taken care of. A lot of management stuff done as well. One thing I want to do really quickly is exhibits. Let's take a look at our exhibit animals. As, as you can see, we have way too many. Go ahead and get all of you out of here first. Quick trade. Easy 6k. 6.5 even almost. You're done with quarantine. Go ahead and move you over to here. But no, not to Wolfrock. Over to here. And I would love, love, have to do it from the, this section, don't I? Well, okay, we'll do it when I get there. Just have to rename, rename him. All of you. And we've got, oh. Yeah, see what I mean? All over the place. I haven't forgotten to do that in how many sessions? And today. All right, there we go, there we go, there we go. Get rid of some of you as well. Again, gonna make this as quick and painless as possible. I, I see many of you saying that you don't really care to see this, and I should edit it out. Uh, and, I, and I totally hear that. Again, I, when I say I want feedback, I mean it. I want I want feedback. I want you to be honest with your feedback. Um, constructive criticism is great. Um, however, on the flip side, I see a lot of people saying they do want to see it. So I try to you know balance both ends of that conversation, so to speak, uh, and I try to make this as as quick as possible, as often as possible. Um, 
I want to get rid of some Titan Beetles. Unless I don't have... Oh my god, look at all these frogs. Okay, this, let's go ahead and send these to the Trade Center. Got to empty the Trade Center. Again, quality of life improvement that I would suggest is this 30 cap should be related to how many um, Trade Centers you have. I've got two. The cap hasn't changed. Man, Pedro, Pedro, we, why can't we get Pedro traded out? I might just uh, release him into the wild or something. Again, if you're not willing to pay a fair price for my animals, then uh, no one gets to have them. It's that simple. It's that simple. All right, back to exhibit animals. And what do we got going on? So you, I need to rename these guys. So that's another thing that I need to stay on top of a bit better. You're daddy and you are mommy. Okay, a little bit of overcrowding over here. Let's get... Right, I still have the same problem as before. The Guatemoc is the father-to-be. Our old mum. Can't trade you out. Do they age in quarantine? I mean, I guess I could just do a whole generational switch. Maybe you get going as well and we can swap you out afterwards. Sure, let's release you to the wild. And once the uh, the former mother passes away, we'll go ahead and swap uh, swap in a, a new female. I think that's the best way to go about it. Right, we'll take care of this in a bit. Um, what was in the process of? Right, the exhibit trading. Not much left to do there, I think. Back to exhibit animals. All right. Always, always a pop-up when you're trying to do something. All right, let's go ahead and get a bunch of you. Keep the rest. Well, let's keep another female as well. Yeah, ages are okay. On over here, let's get rid of y'all. I will need a male Goliath bird eater. Let's get rid of some of you. Get rid of a lot of you, actually. Yeah, I need a male Goliath bird eater. Go to you, and let's go ahead and get to our beetles. All right, here we go. That's the trick. Let's trade them out, and let's get ourselves a... Goliath, a male Goliath bird eater, I believe it was, right? I believe they're up over here. No, here. Spider warning. There will be spiders on screen. Where is my bird eater? There we go. And I need myself, yes, a male. So one last exhibit piece to do, and then we should be hopping into a time lapse shortly after. I thought I traded these guys. Gone, gone. Great. A uh, Goliath bird eater. Goliath beetle, Goliath frog, Goliath bird eater. There we go. Male. Please and thank you. Mail it directly to the exhibit. Huh? It's a male. Yeah. <laughs> uh, all right. So that's that taken care of. Now, what else was there? I believe, yeah, that's 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 everything as far as management is concerned. That's everything as far as uh, name changes and stuff. Um, the other naming, the exhibit naming and stuff, the enclosure naming I'll do when, uh, when I'm in the time lapse. Uh, but for now, I just want to do one last once over over here. Vet research, more of it's complete. I want to make sure that our animals are feeling okay. I wanted to check in on our wolves. We haven't checked in on them in a long time. I think there might be some toy issues and things like that, like enrichment issues might be a problem right now. Uh, but maybe we save that for next session. I try to spread out... Um, oh, so cute. <laughs> Even when you're pooping. Um, I try to spread out the uh, different types of management and time lapses as much as possible so that it's, uh, you know, there's a bit of a, a pace to it. Oh, you know what? No, hold on. If the sun's about to set, I should pause it. But yeah, I, I, I try to make sure we have a variety every episode of what we do. But as always, you know, y'all let me know what you think about uh, my approach and how I can make it better and more entertaining. Uh, like, for example, would you like to see these floating cameras? Not floating. Copy down over there. Do a quick check on security. We've got decent coverage on security, I believe. Mm, I say that, but there are some blind spots in there. Okay, fair enough. Easy fix, I think. Because uh, I can duplicate you. Do we have power is the question. We do. Great. So if we have power, then we can go ahead and get... What? Weird snapping. I don't know why, but... There we go. Easy solution. You look at the tree, the tree looks at you. Done. That should give us some good coverage, I think. In this area, again, I want to make sure people are not littering 
what will eventually be a beautiful space. Eventually. I've got so many plans for this area, and it's so weird being back here actually, but uh, I'm hoping to be able to execute them and get them all done by... Uh, I would say it'll take the next couple of episodes, if I'm completely honest with myself and all of you. Um, what's probably going to happen is this episode we're going to focus on um, this area still, like the actual enclosure still, and the next episode I'll try to do two time lapses, one including this and another one for a new animal uh, that I'll talk about in a moment's time. For now though, folks, enough rambling, enough waiting for it. Uh, I think it's time lapse time, right? I think it's time lapse time. I mean, we've got the animals. The animals are pretty happy, I think, over here as well. I know I said I was going to look around at the animals, but that's going to take forever. Let's save that for next session. We'll, we'll, we'll do an animal um, happiness run through next session. I believe all the animals are happy. It's just they might need some enrichment work done uh, here and there, especially the ones that have been... Ah, especially the ones that have been, um, you know, around for, for a while. I'm really starting to not know exactly what to do with regards to space these guys have. Like, what if I do this? Because they are able to get up here. Um, they should be able to get up here from this little mound. If I give them a little bit more room to play over here, maybe that'll do the trick. Let's see. The only reason I haven't uh, paused and gone into time-lapse mode is because I want to unpause, obviously, and check check the uh, habitat requirements. And didn't want to do that in time-lapse. I try to avoid doing that in time-lapse as much as possible. Alright, let's go ahead. Unpause. Quickly update before the sun sets, please. I can always change the time, so it's not the end of the world, but I'd like to not have to. There we go. Beautiful. Now, it is just barely enough space, so I can only have three bears unless I make this space bigger. If I make the space bigger, I'll probably, I don't know. What I wanted to do was I wanted to put the reindeer over here. That's what I wanted to do. Uh, so I, if I if I need more space for the polar bears, I'm not exactly sure how I want to approach it. But we'll cross that bridge when we get there. Apologize for the constant delaying. Let's dive on in to our time lapse. All right, folks, this time lapse, I'll be honest with you, has a bit of a bittersweet ending, but uh, We'll get to that when we get to that. Um, I will say this time lapse also has a little bit of learning, so I'm really excited to share some of the uh, decision making process and whatnot over here. But I also want to mention very quickly, if you missed it earlier, in the pinned comment down below and under the eye at the top right corner of the screen, you will find a link to another video that I just released yesterday. And if you enjoy my uh, side my sidebars into you know learning opportunities and conversations, then I think you'd enjoy that video. Uh, it was a lot of time spent on producing it and. Uh, just thought I'd mention it. You might be interested. Check it out. Maybe may maybe you'll like it. Anyway, back on topic and to stay focused on what we're doing here. Uh, there was a couple of things I wanted to tackle with this time lapse. Uh, first off, you saw me adjust the train a little bit because I wanted to make sure the bears were actually able to uh, travel uh, both the, the big and the small bears. I want them to be able to get onto that ridge uh, from where the uh, guests will be able to see the bears a little bit closer. Uh, so I made a little bit of adjustment to the terrain there, uh, and then I decided to focus on their hard shelter. Many of you rightfully pointed out that I was giving them way too much space uh, in that uh, you know little shelter dome that we built them, uh, and while giving an animal a lot of space is not a bad thing, the issue with it is that they would very likely stay there unless they wanted to go swimming, and uh, if that happens, uh, guests are not going to get good views, we're not going to make any money off of donations, and we'll go bankrupt, you know, <laughs> long-term thinking. Uh, so I decided I'd make them a slightly smaller, um, but still, you know, equally epic uh, construct. Uh, and I think last time, to a degree, we lucked into the size, like the, the radius and the diameter of the dome, like the base, uh, because this uh, proved to be a bit of a struggle, actually, because... Uh, I tried scaling it down, and as you can see, when you scale a circle down, but you're using, you know, hard edges like this to, to build a circle, or I guess, you know, a hemisphere, um, you have to really portion those angles at every step. Uh, so you can see I, I fiddled a fair bit with it. It's a lot, it's a lot smaller, and I actually like that it's a lot smaller. It feels intentional rather than as a mistake, and it's still big enough to house, I think, more than just three bears. Um, so yeah, I'm personally, I'm really happy with the, the size and the shape, and uh, it was definitely a challenge actually nailing the, uh, the, the, the shrink down. You can see I take a few different approaches here uh, as I try to figure out, like, okay, how are we going to lay this out? Because I couldn't get 
things to line up perfectly. And there you can see me adjusting the uh, the diameter radius, whatever you, whichever you want to, whichever you prefer measuring. Um, but yeah, I, I end up kind of fiddling around with that a little bit. Ultimately, we get to a space that works nicely, both you know aesthetically and functionally. And then I decided to actually go in and just cap off the top a little bit more uh, because I didn't like how that looked. So uh, I, I swap out uh, the, the piece I'm working with and, uh, and fill in those gaps while having these little doorways as uh, entry points. Uh, then you can see I'm very quickly investigating where people can see this from because I got an excellent suggestion in the comments. Uh, just a wonderful suggestion. I mentioned a constellation, uh, using, putting a constellation in the stars last time, and it, I completely didn't realize the potential of doing the Big Dipper. And so we are doing the Big Dipper as the constellation. Uh, big lights, uh, bigger lights for the constellation, and then tiny lights for the rest of the stars. And as I do that, I just want to mention uh, very quickly that you might be interested in knowing that uh, the Big Dipper is obviously, um, again, if we're tying into our uh, native traditions that I every once in a while do, uh, the Big Dipper is, is not what any of the native tribes call the Big Dipper. Uh, there's actually a few different interpretations. I believe the Inuit, and I could be wrong on some of these, so correct me as always if I'm wrong, but the Inuit think of it as, I think it's uh, one, two, three, four hunters, or five, I think it's four hunters chasing after a bear. Uh, the Iroquois see it as three hunters pursuing the Great Bear. Uh, the Lakota people just call it the Great Bear, I believe. Uh, the Wampanoag people uh, call it... Um, I think they also call it the bear, uh, whereas the uh, Wasco Wishram uh, see it as five wolves and two bears. So uh, a few different uh, interpretations. Uh, oh, and, and there's also, sorry, the Inuit see it as a caribou, I think it was. Uh, it's, it's a herd of caribou. Um, so yeah, pretty fascinating. Of course, constellations are interpreted differently by different cultures. Um, and, and yeah, I thought you'd be interested in knowing that. But uh, that's the time lapse, folks. That's the time lapse folks we're back from the time lapse and uh if it feels a little abrupt it's because it is um i just lost about 52 minutes of footage um and it was all the time lapse and uh really bummed out because i'm really happy with how everything turned out but it would have made for a nice time lapse anyway it's fine it's not the end of the world Unfortunately, it probably means that this episode is going to run a little under an hour because uh, I've already been recording for about, you know, two and a bit hours. So uh, I can't I can only go on for so much longer before uh, this video won't release on time. And uh, also, I'm, you know, a little upset, not going to lie. So uh, I do want to wrap a couple things up. And I, of course, want to show you. Uh, the everything that you would have seen in the time lapse because uh, we have done a lot of work. For one, uh, I was very fortunate to have paused um, at this moment exactly. This is I'm really happy with how this looks. This is this is something special. And I was actually at this spot when I was about to name our uh, our little corner over here. Uh, I'm trying to figure out exactly where to place the uh, the name of the enclosure. I'm having a hard time nailing that, if I'm completely honest. I did add a little bit of lighting to this Inukshuk over here as well. I'm trying to figure out where this name should go, and if it should go in multiple spots. You arrive here by train, or you take the stairs and you end up over here. The thing is that once you're in here, there's an enclosure on that side, and a different enclosure on this side. So, I'm almost thinking the name should go up there. That's when I noticed this, uh, this fortunate... Um, kind of postcard moment, I guess. Uh, maybe maybe the name goes up there. I was also tempted to put the name up over here, maybe. Maybe it goes on both sides. For now, I think I'm going to put it down over here, and then we can... Um, we can... Uh, I'll, I'll look for your suggestions and thoughts in the, uh, in the comments. Um, yeah, so let's go ahead and get the name down. And the reason why I wanted to do the name in real time as opposed to in a time lapse since the crash... Uh, is because uh, I want to share a little bit of information about the name and uh, can't really do that with a you know 10 second time lapse because that's all it's going to take to put the name down. Uh, but the name we're going with, and again, there were so many fantastic names and I know I said, hey, maybe we get, like everyone was making, you know, mafia jokes <laughs> with the bears. It's like, oh, maybe we get some references to that. Uh, but ultimately, 
the majority of responses I got uh, were really counter to that. So I decided, okay, fine. That joke's played. It's you know, it's, it's run its course. Let's let's move away from the joke. So the name that I've got, and again, it was really tough to pick, but I like this one. It's stood above, and I'm sure you'll be able to tell immediately why it's stood above uh, for me personally. Uh, the name we're going with is. Uh, well, let's uh, let's write it out at the same time. So I, I got to figure out exactly how I want to lay it out. Um, I mean, I might want to do ho oh, oh, that tease. I didn't mean to. I swear. Um, go with panel over here. I just want to put a little bit of like give, give it a little bit of shape over here. Panel. Why why aren't you showing me panels? Um, East Asia wood, I guess. Or I guess I'd want the uh, the Arctic wood might work for this i don't think we have any oh yeah we've got no that's the eve we've got pillars and stuff in here don't we sure we do yeah we do okay i just need the right kind of column this works as well all right yeah that 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 that, that that'll, this will do the trick this will do the trick for me all right you can watch me in real time as i try to build uh build something like this i'm uh, really sorry about uh about how this episode's turning out, folks. Nothing I can do about it, obviously, but can't help but apologize. Um, I was so happy with how that time lapse was coming around, too. And you, you'll see what I'm talking about. You'll see in a moment's time when I sh take you around uh, everything that I accomplished. I think you'll be able to tell exactly why I would have liked it to have gone smoothly. But that's life, right? You win some, you lose some. It's not the end of the world. Uh, it's only natural that, uh, the episode after a milestone episode would be so cursed, so jinxed. Um, that is just my, uh, my ill fortune, I guess. Uh, how do I do this? Let's go ahead with you. Yeah, there we go. We can go with the shorter one there. Beautiful. And, um, don't need it to be on the grid, but I guess why not? It'll line up nicely. Or it'll stick out on the other side. Go ahead and do this. Oh, okay. We don't we don't need the grid. Let's just duplicate you. So much easier. Done. All right. So the name we're going with uh, is yet again tying into some of the um, sort of Native American uh, touches that I've wanted to to pull through and that I've been pulling through in the past. So again, got some great suggestions, but the one that I'm going with ultimately uh, is uh, Nanook nook so and i'm probably butchering the pronunciation i apologize for that uh and i will also mention right away there are multiple spellings for nanook uh the one i'm going with is n-a-n-u-q um the other is o-o-k at the end i think u-k is a one like ending with u-k but nanook means polar bear in uh in the Inuit language, which, if I recall correctly, is called Inuktitut. Oh, I could be wrong. I apologize. Um, but yeah, so the, the Inuit uh, call polar bears Nanook, but the word Nanook actually goes beyond that. Uh, Nanook was also the name of a, or is also the name of a, uh, it, it, like the, the the polar bear is basically like deified i guess is the way to put it um and the polar bear and again if i've got anything wrong here and you know better feel free to correct me in the comments as always uh but the polar bear was worshipped in a sort of like uh like a think of it like a like a like a deity or, or a god of the hunt almost uh and nanook would determine if uh, hunters should find success on a hunt um, it's, it's a lot harder to talk about this stuff while you're also laying things out, I will say. <laughs> it's, it's so much easier when it's a time lapse and I can just kind of focus on talking while stuff's happening in the background. Uh, but yeah, so Nanook is a, um, a god type individual, I suppose. The, the master of bears, I believe, is, uh, is, is the term. Um, and, uh, and, it, and, and it's specifically a polar bear and uh, it would determine if hunters uh, were you know allowed to be successful on a hunt and if they were maybe deserving of punishment because they broke some you know rules of, of hunting very interesting stuff um, but uh, but uh, again like I said you can probably tell why the name stood out to me uh, I've tried to you know maintain uh, some of that connection I guess 
uh, not only because of the animals themselves, but also because of where the zoo itself is situated. Uh, so I've tried to, you know, play into that as much as possible. Plus, plus, I'm not gonna lie, Nanook Nook, that's a cute, that's just cute. <laughs> How am I supposed to resist that? Nanook Nook. It's great. So again, thank you all for your suggestions. I had so many wonderful things to pick from, uh, and ultimately, uh, this is the winner and uh i look forward to seeing you know more name suggestions as we get more opportunities for naming i always honestly i i love i love getting your name suggestions it is so much fun um because and i've said this before but i'll say it again there's some serious creativity in the comments and i love it i love it there we go ah nice soft subtle lighting and uh, we don't need to do what i did with the lettering elsewhere actually now i don't even know if you've seen it all right well let's now that we've named nanook nook well actually not officially let's make it official uh nanook nook uh so now that we have named nanook nook we can take a look at a couple things so first of all i guess you haven't seen this at night i can't remember what my time lapses did and didn't have and so I really apologize, but I'm going to be a little repetitive. Uh, basically, uh, I may be a little repetitive. What I've done here is I've built this so that our polar bears can come in from all sides, right? They can get comfy on the inside. There is bedding in here as well. I've only put it on this side for now because I'd like to influence the bears laying down over here. And at night, uh, I've minimized how much they'll be bothered by lighting by only using the small baubles for the most part. And again, these small ones represent the stars yet again. However, these ones uh, represent the um, the Big Dipper. Uh, the reason why I've got the Big Dipper in white and the rest in yellow is when I was looking at it in the time lapse, I was kind of like, oh, you know, I really liked how it looked, and I felt like with the size differences, you could tell uh, exactly what I was going for and whatnot. But then I realized, like, imagine being a kid, right? And you're like, mom or dad's like, hey, look, it's the Big Dipper. And when you look at the stars, you can't see them anyways, because let's be honest, it's impossible to see these constellations unless you know exactly where you're looking and what you're looking for. But, you know, it'd be nice for a kid to be able to tell them apart, because like, oh, you know, the white ones. If you follow the white lights, you can see the Big Dipper. And it's just a cool, maybe, you know, teaching moment uh, opportunity, I guess. I don't know. I don't know. I, I, I thought it was a nice uh, way to differentiate them. And we've got the shape close <laughs> as close as you can get it so uh yeah this is the uh this is the bedding area the hard shelter area it still provides enough hard shelter for our bears uh unless i didn't check with yeah okay so we've got enough space for the bears uh, and it's cute too i think because now we've got two different sized um domes and you can see just how different they look as well in terms of lighting intensity and everything. Uh, but not just that, we also, you know, from up top have a pretty nice uh, view over here as well. And uh, I forgot to delete this one, so let's go ahead and do that. Let's get rid of you. Make my money back. 8K. Wow. 8,000 in refund money. Um, but yeah, so that's that. Uh, like I mentioned earlier, we've got uh, the lighting over here as well. I'm just going to adjust that real quick. Real quick. There we go. And apart from that, what I've done with the lettering, and again, I can't remember if this was in the time lapse, the the half that made it or the half that didn't, because I recorded it in two halves because of the game crash. So thank God I did that at least. Uh, but yeah, so what I've done is I've duplicated the uh, lettering. So there's actually two sets of lettering. One is like a navy blue, blackish blue, and on top of that, I've got the uh, the white lettering, and that'll help provide some separation. Some of you were pointing out that there's not enough contrast. Totally agree. Uh, and I thought this was a nice way to do it rather than just change the color. Uh, and then at the same time, down over here, now this is going to be completely different. Um, yeah, this, this will probably be completely different, but if you come through, I've got the uh, snow cave done. Uh, and I've lit it up in the colors of the Aurora Borealis. I've got it all lit up. And I say Aurora Borealis, but I mean Aurora Borealis. And not just Aurora Borealis, but Aurora Borealis. B what uh, great name suggestions, folks. I mean, this is actually a blend of two uh, that I got from multiple of you, like many of you. Um, Aurora Borealis. I love it. And I hope I hope you do too. Uh, but yeah, so we've got um, <laughs> we've got this lighting in here, real uh, I think at least really nice kind of mood lighting, really dim. Still some some coverage needs to be done over here. There's a there's a lot of there's a lot of snow coverage that needs doing. And I've been I I, I 
spent a lot of time putting these down over the course of that time lapse. Maybe I'll cap this off uh, next session or something. Uh, I've almost had enough of this roof right now. But here we are, and I'm kind of just doing it. Sure, we'll leave the rest for later. But yeah, so, you know, really kind of soft, subtle lighting, uh, greens and purples, uh, as is fitting with, you know, the theme and whatnot. But yeah, Aurora Borealis, and you come up the stairs, and you go up the ramp, and then you're over here. And from over here, you actually have a really nice view of, uh, you know, of the, uh, the, the smaller nook, let's call it. And uh, you can see, you know, the Big Dipper. You can see, um, I mean, that's, that's kind of it. The bears should also be able to come up here more. Um, sorry, I'm, I, I have been thrown off by the crash. Yeah, the bears are able to come up over here. I've smoothed this terrain out. That I'm sure you saw. So hopefully we'll get some better views. And what I might do is I was told that the herb scent marker for the polar bears... Uh, and for all animals, really, can really pull them in a certain direction. Let's go ahead and try to influence that a little bit and try and get them up over here, uh, and hopefully that'll do the trick. Hopefully that'll do the trick. All right, was there anything else to show? I'm trying to remember what else I've done. No, I guess I guess that's everything. The only the only thing left to do was. Um, just enjoy the view a little bit. I, I also adjusted the lighting on that uh, Inuk Shuck over there. But, um, folks, that is the uh, bittersweet note upon which this uh, episode will end. Again, not um, not ideal, and I do apologize for that. Uh, I need to figure out what's going on. Maybe I need to like reinstall the game or something. It's been crashing a lot lately, but that this wasn't a game thing. It was my OBS, uh, my recording software, that decided to act up. I really wish I could make this the thumbnail, but the people are going to get covered up. I guess I could do something like that. Not the same. The composition isn't as good. That. This I like. Anyway, folks. This is where we're going to call it a session. I think next session we're going to complete this, uh, you know, Santa's workshop thing we have going. I have some great plans for it now. I finally figured out how I want to execute this, so I'm really excited uh, to do that. And then apart from that, uh, as for what's next, I'm going to, in some ways, leave it up to you guys. So at the top right corner of the screen, you're going to see a little eye pop up, and under that eye there will be a poll. And in that poll, I want to know from you and all your opinions. I want to know, do you want to see Southeast Asia get some more work done, or should we work on the Himalayas? Uh, if we work on the Himalayas, it'll either be snow leopards or Himalayan bears. If we work in Southeast Asia... Either going to be the orangutan, or it's going to be the Komodo dragon. All four of these animals have been getting multiple requests, so I'm torn, because I've got exciting plans for basically all of them. The Himalayan brown bear I could still use a little bit of thinking for, but for the snow leopards, the Komodo dragons, and the orangutan, I've got some ideas that I'm really excited to pull off. Uh, so... I would love to hear your opinion on what you want to see next. Next session, again, we're going to cap off that Santa's workshop, and then hopefully maybe kick off our next habitat as well um which is why i like to get your opinion in now man the orange lanterns in southeast asia was the right call well folks like i said this is the somewhat bittersweet note on which we will call it a session i hope you enjoyed this one despite the uh issues um if you did you know what to do let me know by leaving a like and a comment down below look at that glow oh i'm so happy with it so happy with it as always, a massive thanks goes out to all of my channel members and patrons for supporting the channel on a monthly basis. You keep us alive and running smoothly. And a massive thanks goes out to each and every one of you for watching. Until next time, cheers.